Hi there. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a demo video of how to connect X-Plane to FDEC flight instruments. So you can see here we've got the X-Plane flight simulator uh, flying south of the UK at the moment, just out of Shoreham. I've got the AI uh, controlling the aircraft, so uh, please don't judge me. And on the right-hand side of the window here, you've got FDEC running in the iOS simulator. Now at the moment, the iOS simulator is um, being driven by uh, a GPX file that's uh, available from Apple, um, and it's kind of uh, it goes uh, kind of around the area around the Apple headquarters. So if I zoom in where it is here, and it will follow that nice. So they're not connected at the moment, so they're completely independent. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is is connect X-Plane up so it drives uh, FDEC. It's really simple now in the new version. Um, you just go into, into X-Plane, go into the settings. In the settings, uh, you've got the network tab. You go to the network tab and you're looking for this area down here, other mapping apps. Um, there's a checkbox that says transmit to a single mapping app. You hit that um, and pretty much it's it's there and done. It's it's connected. So what I've done here, just uh, just to show you quickly, um, you do need to enter the IP address of the device you're sending it to. So the constructions are in here. Um, so here you've got step two. Take a note of this device's IP, which is 192.168.1252. You can see I've pre-populated that in X-Plane here. Um, so when I switch that uh, little checkbox on, it automatically started sending data to uh, to FDEC. So now what we've got here is that we've got, it says here using Xplainer's data source. If we go to the map, we've got our location and we zoom out a little bit. You can see we're just out of Shoreham. Um, this new version of FDEC uh, also draws a line uh, of your track of where you've been. So you'll start seeing that in a moment. Um, so yeah, so uh, we've got uh, the ADF. So if we tune up the ADF, uh, let's go to Shoreham NDB, you can see that's reflective of the location there. Um, if we change that uh, to, to a, a VOR, for example, let's have a look. Uh, it's compass, let's change this to a VOR. And tune that up to, I don't know, VOR out of, uh, let's do Gatwick Airport, shall we? Uh, so you can see there, uh, as we move it, we're, we're currently on the uh, approximately the uh, oops the zero zero five radial and if we again look at the map um, we can see that radial there as well being depicted um, if we move it off so that we're maybe a few degrees off and we can see that if we if we zoom in uh, and the radial there on the left hand side in red we can move either side of it so we can move the aircraft manually. Uh, and if we go back to the flight deck, uh, you can see as we move it around, the uh, VOR indicator is indicating as, as appropriate. So if we go back to our actual location, um, um, we could check that in X-Plane by tuning up that VOR. Uh, well, actually, we can't in X-Plane because we can't tune up an airport as a VOR. Um, we can do that in FDEC, um, which is a unique uh, feature which you can do obviously in the real world in aircraft as well so you can tune up the VOR to um, to a VOR so if you wanted to but you could also just pick um, I don't know uh, a, a big in uh, big in hill airport or a VOR DME uh, and so forth so you can do whatever you want um, it also shows the obviously all instrumentation is shown so you got the airspeed there uh, 120 knots and if we look at X plane uh, if we look at oops, if we look at X plane here and zoom in, we've we've got the, the airspeed there as well. Uh, what else have we got? Let's have a look. That's a VOR. Uh, let's go compass, shall we? Um, oh no, let's go altimeter. So let's show that. Um, there we go. Exactly the same between F deck and X plane. Um, let's just go compass. And again, they're exactly the same between X-Plane and FDEC. So uh, you can see there, FDEC provides a really nice, uh, in this case, simulated uh, version uh, of what you see in X-Plane. In 
Uh, super powerful. You can run this on a mobile device, a real device, a simulator, an iPad, uh, a phone, whatever you really like. You can change your configuration. So let's put it this in a, in a grid display, shall we? Uh, let's go grid display. Um, and then we've got a nice, uh, nice flight deck there, which we can run alongside. And you could put that on an iPad next to your screen and so forth and do whatever you want from it. So super powerful. Hope that shows you how to connect up X-Plane. When you want to disconnect X-Plane and go back to uh, real life, oh, apologies for that, go back to real life, um, it's really the opposite. So in X-Plane, you just go to settings and uncheck that. Actually, let me, before I do that, let me go back to the displays. Um, and when I uncheck it, it, you get three seconds and then FDEC will see the packets uh, stopped being sent to it and it will go back to using the internal GPS and sensors from your real device. So I hope that helps. Hope that was interesting. Um, thank you very much.